These are few of the most shocking parasites in the world, and they are very disturbing. Part 1. Animals Number 5. Lamprey Lampreys are fish with circular mouth containing several lines of sharp teeth they use to attach to other fish, making it almost impossible for the poor victim to rid themselves of it. There are two types of lamprey, the bloodsuckers and the ones that eat the flesh of its victim while it is still alive. The bloodsuckers have very thin teeth they use to reach blood vessels of their host. Through glands that excrete anticoagulant, they keep the blood in flux until they satiate their hunger. The flesh-eating lampreys have a mechanism of three mobile teeth and a tongue structure they use to chew away pieces of their victim. The parasite can remain stuck to its host for days. While the bloodsucker lampreys can give the host a break to recover, the flesh-eating ones are very aggressive and in many cases cause the death of its host. Number 4. The Tongue-Eating Louse With its scientific name Simothia exigua, the tongue-eating louse is another parasite of a fish. It is a crustaceous, which destroys and replaces the tongue of its victims. In the larval stage, the little parasite swims inside the gill of unsuspecting fish where they develop. When they mature, they migrate to the base of the fish's tongue. There, it starts to feed from blood, causing the tongue to atrophy and fall. At this point, the louse exerts a strong grasp on the oral cavity, becoming in effect the new tongue of the fish. This exchange does not kill the victim, which is still able to survive with the parasite, feeding and reproducing, but not in the same way it would without it. There are cases of people who found this little invader in fish purchased at markets and even in tuna cans. Number 3. Cordyceps fungi These are fungi that parasite insects with a scary effect. Very common in tropical forests in Asia and South America, when spores of the fungi get in contact with insects, it invades its body and brain. The fungi begins to control the host's behavior, forcing it to take actions that it would not do otherwise. Ground ants, for example, are induced to climb to the top of trees in search of the ideal place for the cordyceps to develop. When they reach the adequate location, the ant bites a leaf or branch and dies in just a few hours. Shortly after, the fungus starts to develop and emerge from the carcass, where it will eventually fructify. The new spores will disperse in the wind, starting a new deathly cycle. Number 2. Nematomorpha worms. It's not only fungi that can transform its hosts into zombies. The Nematomorpha worms, also known as horse hair or Gordian worms, are thin, similar to strands of horse mane. These parasites infest arthropods, such as insects and spiders. The host is infected when ingesting water or consuming other animals with the worm. Inside the host, the worm grows significantly, going from a fraction of an inch to more than six feet in some cases. In the end, it fills most of the body cavities of the host. With such invasion, the arthropod becomes weak but doesn't die because its vital organs are preserved. The nematormopha reproduces in water, which can be a problem when the parasite terrestrial animals. To solve this problem, the worm excretes certain proteins, which induces the host to search for a body of water and drown in it. Once in the water, the nematormopha exits the carcass of its host, completing its life cycle. Two rare cases of humans contaminated with the worm were recorded in Japan in 2012, a one-year-old infant and an 80-years-old man. Number 1. Leucochloridium paradoxum. Leucochloridium paradoxum is a worm and it parasites birds. However, it spends its larval stage in snails. When snails consume excrement of infected birds, they will also ingest eggs of the parasite. Inside the snail, it develops and migrates to its eye stalks. And this is when things start to get really strange. In order to return to its avian host, the Leucochloridium paradoxum controls the snail, forcing it to expose itself at the top of the vegetation in search of light. 
They also pulsate inside its eyes, causing it to appear like the grubs the birds most like to eat. The birds are attracted and eat the eyes of the poor snail, taking the parasite back to its home sweet home.